take a look back at the highlights then from the race as we got underway and Lu Lucas Donner got a brilliant start to the race. Yeah, he was just about able to get his elbows out and hold on to the race. Sadly, Andreas and Sebastian Esther would make contact coming into towards turn number one. Here we can see Sebastian Esther on the outside trying to turn into the corner. Andreas having been run wide there, had nowhere to go but in towards his brother and sadly that would effectively be the race over for the two who would finish 14th and 15th at the end. There would be some great moves from Louis Foster. That was the first of them on the very first lap on Alexandra Bardignon. This perhaps the best one though, diving down the inside of Cameron Daz, just about getting the car stopped in time. Uh, and Louis Foster, don't know what happened to him on the last lap though, he would drop back to eighth place after attacking Van Berlo for sixth. Lucas Dunner just couldn't keep up with his teammate no matter what he tried. And as we mentioned there, he was, uh, this might be where Louis Foster, that was him trying to dive down the inside of Van Berlo, wouldn't be able to get through. But he got his foot down out front, did Yevye, and in the end, he would lead his teammate to the line by 4.8 seconds to get himself within just one race here now of winning the 2020 Euro Formula Open title. A 1-2 for the Crypto Tower Racing Team. Great result once again, and they would be joined on the podium by Nicholas Bruton.